Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel Best Notes Tutorials. We are doing Kuli, which is written by Mulk Raj Anand. In my last video, I have completed Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 of this novel. Now we will move to rest of the chapters in detailed manner. So, before we move into the next chapters, let me quickly recapitulate so that you will remember what we have done so far. So that we can continue with the story. Friends, I told you that Mulk Raj Anand is an Indian English writer and he has written two very important works compared to other works of he himself. Number one is Untouchables and then Kuli. Today we are doing Kuli which is his second novel. Now next important information is he was born in Peshawar, India. And he writes more on marginalized communities. From Mulk Raj Anand, please remember his work Untouchable, which was published in the year 1935. And this was his first work. Next was Kuli, that was published in the very next year, 1936. And this is extremely, you know, heart-touching story of a little boy who is just 14 years of age. His name is Munu. So, please keep in mind the name of the protagonist and the year of publication. Next is Two Leaves and a Bud. So, I will not go much into the details. Please keep in mind these important points which I have discussed in my video 1. Now, we will transit to chapter 1. And here we see the protagonist Munu who is a hill boy and he is happy there. He is an orphan. Okay, and therefore he is staying with uncle and aunt. These two people are very cruel, alright, because they are very insensitive. Even though they don't have child, they don't love Munnu, alright. It is very disgusting to see this because when somebody is childless, they tend to give more love to, you know, children. But that does not happen here. They are always running after money. So, uh, here we see both of them ill-treat Munnu. And somehow he tolerates because in village he is living in a very peaceful surrounding. All right? Inside the house there are so many problems. Uh, lack of good food, lack of clothing, lack of love, lack of safety as well. But still the environment, the natural environment is very idyllic, peaceful, okay, pleasant. Therefore he is happy there. But what happens? He was sent to village sorry from village to city from village vilaspur to city and there the problem starts now what had happened let us find out before that let me tell you munu's uncle uh, used to work in imperial bank imperial bank uh, was the name of sbi state bank of india during that period okay the name was changed afterwards now munu's aunt always urges his husband, sorry, her husband to, you know, have a very good life. Okay, because she was fascinated by the city life. So, all of them move to city. Now, when it was told that he will be shifting from village to city, Munu was happy because he started dreaming of a good life. He started dreaming of completing examination and getting job and leading a life of pride and dignity but that does not happen when he comes he was put into work by his uncle all right and the place where he was working that was not at all conducive for him now the owners okay the owners of munnu starts beating him for minor mistakes all right and here we see all his dreams shatters in city In his heart, he starts comparing town with his village. And he finds that village was much more peaceful than the city. Because he wanted to see cattle, he wanted to see fields, which he did not see in city. So this shows modern life and traditional life. All right? uh, especially village, they follow traditional way of living. And in city, we find modern ways. And these are totally poles apart from each other which can never be mixed and which can never be uh, appreciated, 
okay comparison is not appreciated because wherever we go there we will find positive and negative aspects so according to our desire we have to accept that now he starts working in the house of nathuram nathuram was accountant of imperial bank okay uh, imperial bank is the same bank where uncle of munnu was working all right they shifted to city here we find the life of shamnagar and in shamnagar nathuram was the accountant of imperial bank and munnu started working in his house but the owner's lady was not at all full of warmth she was treating munnu very badly very ruthlessly it was dr prem babu who noticed this little boy and treated in a very kind way so in the house of this family nathuram's family it was dr prem babu who was just like a guardian for munnu he took care of his health and always tried to save him from the ruthless behavior of uh, nathuram and his wife in this house munnu was expected to complete entire household chores and uh, that too with perfection which did not happen so now and then munnu used to get scolded by bibi ji and babu ji okay so eventually what happens munnu gets tired of this life and even though he was frustrated he had to lead this life because there was no other option left before him by his uncle and aunt as well so finally we see munnu was playing with children of this accountant okay and uh, what happens he happens to bite okay bite that girl bite that daughter of accountant and when they see this both of them beat munnu to munnu very badly all right and munnu was not able to tolerate this so he escaped on a train now we will start today's class that is from chapter 3 munnu arrives at daulatapur and encounters seth prabhadayal and ganpat please remember our first chapter was at village next was at shamnagar and now we are at daulatpur okay in daulatpur he meets with these two people and these two are partners business partners set prabha dayal and ganpat okay prabha dayal wishes to adopt munu while ganpat intends to employ him as an unfair sorry unpaid laborer now here person to person you know our mentality differs he was a very good man so he wanted to keep you know adopt him because he had nobody with him with munu there was nobody so he wanted to adopt because god had given everything to him money property etc all right but ganpat was not in favor of this he wanted to have free labor in the form of munu so by this we can understand our society is divided into two parts there are some good people and bad people as well munu is welcomed warmly in prabha dayal's home where he enjoys a sumptuous meal this was the uh, requirement of the r this was the need of the r munu had escaped from his home with without money okay so this was something which he needed at that moment and he had a very hearty meal he starts working in prabha's pickle factory where he meets other workers including maharaja and bonga now fortunately he got job in pickle factory okay and he was working there and he was happy because he had roof above his head and food inside his stomach and there was a person who was very much caring or you know towards munu prabha is very kind uh, while ganpat is cruel and munu is given various tasks including delivering goods now ganpat was not at all in favor of munu so he was as usual he was given so much of task munu was given so much of task by ganpat he did not want him to eat uh, for free and stay there for free he wanted to you know take out double amount that he was working in this place prabha dayal introduces munu to shopkeeper in daulatpur so wherever 
his business was prabha dayal's business was okay his, their business was of pickle okay they used to prepare pickle and distribute it so munnu was also working well here though he did not like the ambience okay why i'll tell you uh, in pickle factory what used to happen every time something or the other thing used to boil okay so that boiling thing he did not like all right in one pot there is something which is being prepared for dispatch and then somewhere else you know something else is boiling so that uh, situation he did not like but he liked the members of this factory okay who were always supportive to munnu so finally he was at better place compared to vilaspur and shamnagar let's move ahead a dispute arises with prabha's neighbor rai bahadur sir todarmal due to the factory's foul smelling ovens now here prabha used to make prabha and ganpat had a factory i told you and whenever they used to prepare pickle they had to burn these pickle under fuel and that was wooden fuel that was used okay so what used to happen they used to create a lot of smoke out of their factory which sir todar mal did not like so now and then they used to fight for this reason ganpat's rude response to sir todar mal or oh sorry todar mal leads to a physical confrontation this man was very boitrous okay manless man so there we find totally you know opposite characters here prabha was very kind ganpat was very angry rude man so when he started speaking in a rude way todar mal and ganpat started fighting physically prabha apologizes and sends gift resolving the issue now if prabha would not have interfered okay ganpat and prabha sorry ganpat and todar mal would have had a huge fight but prabha came in between and stopped this fight and uh, prabha provided gifts to todar mal and that resolved all the issues munru gets sick after eating unripe mangoes and is treated with care by prabha's wife see as it is told when some one gets bad treatment okay she, they have to wait for good people in their life as well because every time it is not going to be dark side in our life same thing happens with munru as well munnu as well he had everything that a person requires in their life a family a roof above his head food okay and friends in this pickle factory all right so when he was sick because of his own mistake all right it was prabha who took utter care of munru after recovering he is given higher sorry lighter tasks and feels grateful to prabha ganpat betrays prabha dayal by taking loan from lady todar mal without his knowledge okay let me discuss this point now first of all prabha prabha's character we have to see in detail he was a god gift to munnu it is because he was given uh, a family which had money and a family which had something to do as well and uh, the one who showered love on munnu so he was very fortunate leaving here but ganpat as i told you he was a very boitrous man uh, and very treacherous as well ganpat takes loan from lady todar mal okay here with whom he had fought his wife all right that is lady todar mal she had given loan to ganpat and this was not known to anybody therefore we need to be very cautious of everybody okay we need to be alert when we should believe but we should be alert ganpat becomes aggressive reveals financial mismanagement and leaving the partnership now ganpat required just a pretext to leave the company all right and he became so aggressive to see financial mismanagement okay and all these uh, troubles mismanagements were done by he himself because he was a very immoral man prabha dayal is ruined losses in factory and returns to kangra to work as a laborer 
Unfortunately, the glory of Prabhadayal came to an end and everything had ruined because he was not able to pay back money. Okay, therefore he comes back to his village Kangra and becomes a laborer. At least by doing labor work, he can earn his living. Munnu and Tulsi attempt to earn money in the grain market but face tough competition. Now Munnu by this time was ready, I mean learned so many things and ready to lead his life on his own. But that was not enough. Both of them had to struggle as in the market competition was more. Now Munnu works as a coolie. He did not find any other alternative uh, after the closing of pickle factory and he becomes a coolie. All right, Munnu becomes a coolie. See his journey. First, he was a free man, I mean free boy, okay. From free boy, what happened? He started working as a servant. Then, after being a servant, he came here and started working as a helper, a helping hand, okay, in pickle factory. And now, he was a coolie. So, life is not certain. All right, what will happen in the next moment? We need to... Be alert for that as well. And we should not criticize anyone who is in this situation. Because when time changes, even we are unaware, ignominious about the same. So what happens to Munu? Munu becomes a coolie. Alright. In various places, but struggles to make a decent income. Though he becomes a coolie, the charges that he received was very less. Now, last point, Munu encounters a circus and befriends an elephant driver who takes him to Bombay. Now, Munu was now, goes to Bombay, all right, because he found a friend who was one of the members of circus and he was a elephant driver. Okay, the friend who became, sorry, who was met in circus, all right, he knew how to drive elephant so he goes to bombay now we see munnu's real struggle in new city okay now there were so many challenges and new experiences in munnu's life now this chapter highlights ups and downs as it is his life was not static okay always there were problems okay there were few people a handful of people who loved him and rest were rude always. So his journey begins and what all things he has to experience, let's find out. Now Munu travels from north to south. North, he was from Himachal Pradesh and now he had gone to Bombay. So from northern part of India to southern part of India, he shifted. Witnessing the diverse landscapes along the way, as we know, the hilly areas are different and plains are different. So he was able to make a comparison between these two kinds of landscapes. He arrives in Mumbai, sorry, Bombay with great expectations but finds the city to be complex and unfamiliar. Now great expectations. Everybody who goes in Bombay has so many aspirations. Okay. And they think that they are going to be supported by their destiny. But sometimes... We find there are only few who are fortunate enough to receive everything from life. So he stops liking town as well. Munnu deserve, sorry, observes the diversity of communities, unique clothing and various vehicles in the city. Munnu deserves, sorry, observes the diversity of communities. Now in Mumbai, we find all the kind of people, Parsis, uh, Muslims, Hindus, Okay, and from different communities of our India. Alright, Bengali, Bihari, Gujarati, everyone is there for business and for jobs, etc. He saves a girl from a traffic accident and befriends her father Hari. Friends, here we see Munu's another good nature. And uh, however poor he was, however tortured he was by society and its inhabitants, he was always you know, decided to help others who were suffering in different ways. So here, the girl was saved by Munu and father of that girl, that is Hari, was a worker in this cotton factory. So he, you know, approaches Munu to work along with him. And for that, he has taken 
uh, Munu to this Jimmy Thomas, who was the supervisor, foreman means supervisor of that cotton factory. But he was also not a you know genuine human being because he also tortures Munu. In what way we will see? All right, we have already uh, seen what was the Prabha uh, Prabha's nature. All right, he was always good to Munu and always tried to ease his life. But here he found. A person of different nature, contradictory characters than Prabha. Okay, he was like Ganpat, who betrayed Prabha and, uh, you know, snatched away the factory from him. So, it was not only that. He had taken loan against this pickle factory and entire money uh, had to be paid by Prabha Dayal. And, uh, you know, there, there was Lady Todarmal as well. Okay, she also did not uh, favor Prabha. She favored Ganpat. So what happened? Because of the betrayal, Prabha had to leave the place and he was very much disheartened. He was so depressed and started working lonely. All right, now Munu had decided that he will work and he will survive and whatever money he will save, he will send it to Prabha because now he had become poor and he had left uh, that place where his uh, pickle factory was. So unfortunately, again he was trapped in the hands of this Jimmy Thomas. What all things? happens in this story let's find out friends here we see um harihar okay the full name of this man hari is harihar and he was working in this cotton factory it was not only he but his wife and children are also there in this factory but the wages are very low because uh, this uh, supervisor exploits him and his uh, you know factory owner as well he wanted to take benefit of uh, unemployment in the society and therefore whoever comes in his factory he pays very low even after being very old man Harihar was paid very low wages but he had to accept that for survival so let's see what happens to Munu Munu works at the factory involves operating a machine and joining thread ends when they break now see this was the work of this boy all right joining the threads all right, you must have seen in Cotton Factory, obviously, these kind of things will be seen. Okay, so he was doing his work, but it was very tedious. It was very time-taking and laborious, which was leading to dissatisfaction. Munu was not happy here because of the operation. Harihar's family faces difficulties, including a child's accident and the destruction of their hut during heavy rain. Now, Harihar tells his story to Munu that how his... <coughs> Hurt was destroyed by heavy rain and child's accident occurred. Now Ratan, a fellow worker, helps them find shelter and befriends Munu. Now Munu is now and then making friends here one after the other. Friends, another problem of this factory was that, that the grains that was provided, okay, that was of very high rate. Wages were low but the grain cost was very high. So we see exploitation everywhere, wherever Munu goes. Not only this, the shelter where these labors used to... Not only this, but the problem is shown where they used to reside. It was just a hut of a straw all right, and hay. And the, wherever it used to rain, they, their houses used to get full of water. All right, and uh, it used to get unhygienic because sanitation was not proper. And, uh, you know, the bathing system, sorry, the bathing system was also not proper. So here, Munu had shown, through Munu, the writer shows what was the life in Bombay. Okay, let's come back to the presentation. Here, we find another character that is Ratan. Okay, Ratan is very bold, courageous labor. All right, and uh, he opposes the system of this factory, the wages regarding wages regarding grain, etc. He is not ready to accept the uh, you know dominance of Mr. Thomas and Mr. Little. All right, uh, the cotton factory was owned by these uh, the main uh, owner. The cotton factory was under their supervision, so workers had to obey them. But Ratan understood the treachery and therefore. He objected. Ratan shares his story of participating in successful strike at Tata Steel Works in Jamshedpur. Now, this we see, okay, whenever workers are not satisfied, they agitate and sometimes it is good also because uh, 
whatever is their right it should be given by the company owner all right and if there is a problem like mediator is creating some problem then the owner should come to know sometimes it happens that the owner gives all the benefits to uh, laborers workers but middleman eats all those up so the benefits the benefits could not reach to the lower people okay the laborers and therefore dissatisfaction occurs workers at the cotton factory as are exploited by the foreman by the supervisors who charges them for job opportunities and runs a money lending business now see here job opportunities they charge for job opportunities that means if somebody is unemployed all right they will give employment to them but they will charge some money like from first salary they will take 50% or 10% all right and money lending business the rate of the interest rate of these money the lended money was very high okay therefore for you know poor people were suppressed from all the angles the grains were of high rate their wages was low their money lending interest was high then if they had you know if they used to get job better job and right, they had to pay some percentage to these exploiters therefore these servants were i mean these workers were trapped in the vicious circle now what happens in this story see ratan had taken harihar's family to his chawl okay because during rainy season his hut was taken away by the water so in for you know safety he had taken but he did not inform the supervisors therefore supervisor had become very angry at ratan and he start he started torturing harihar as well for not informing him all right so torture started in different ways uh, the working hours were extended okay from 5 to 5 and then you know so many restrictions as well now what happens these billitel and mr thomas both of them decides to shorten the work that means in a week the workers will work only for 3 days this means that the uh, workers will not have enough money for their survival okay where will they will they go in those 4 days and work so here uh, resentment okay dissatisfaction starts and you know laborers they go against their supervisors all right and <clears throat> when they agitate even communist leaders they join and uh, join this riot and it turns out into a hindu and muslim riot munu is attacked by a mob during communal rights and is rescued by social activist friends as we know there are anti social elements who are always on their toes to create problem in our society so what had happened here they had misinformed people that hindu kids are being stolen by muslims and muslim kids are being stolen by hindus so because of this misconception all right they started fighting with each other and it had turned into a huge riot all right so here even munu had been trapped understood so somehow when he was saved uh, he was once upon a time he was admiring a boat and thinking about his place shimla during that period only he was about to collide i mean he he literally collided with the car of mrs menwaring friends in between what happens ratan takes munu to red light area all right and there he was again mentally tortured and sexually as well okay sexually exploited and mentally uh, tortured as well he physically he was already into work okay but this was something extra that he had never experienced so he you know starts that desire and uh, he does that and later on we see that harihar's wife who was very young okay uh, in there is slight mention of relationship between munu and harihar's wife okay but it's not written in in, in an elaborated way so we can just uh, understand that this had also happened okay so keep in mind if question ask question will if question is asked from this aspect you have to mention that physical 
exploitation was already done by society now mental and sexual also harassment also started friends after this riot somehow monu survives and uh, when he was looking at this boat all right he was hit by the car of mrs manwaring and uh, she was this lady was from shimla okay she was rich lady and she was from shimla and when she understands that monu has nobody uh nobody with him and he does not have any um he does not have any person to look after and he does not have job what does he do she takes munu to shimla because even she needed some servant so she decided that this munu will be the best option for her mrs men wearing employs munu as her page page means attendant okay and rickshaw puller now uh, he started doing this work okay <clears throat> men wearing sorry mrs men wearing's work was done by munu the chapter highlights munu's journey from bombay to shimla and the challenges he faces in the bustling city now here we see a circular journey from bilaspur to dolatpur from uh, sorry shamnagar okay from bilaspur to shamnagar from shamnagar to dolatpur then dolatpur to bombay and from bombay to shimla okay so from hill he started his journey towards south okay from north to south and now he was towards north again okay so it was a circular journey for munu okay let's move ahead and we know that all the challenges that are exist that are existing in human life are faced by munu it introduces a new phase in munu's life working for mrs menwaring and leaving the reader wondering about his future now here we see munu is leading a good life because he was taken care by mrs menwaring she pays him all right and uh, there's no dearth of food uh, shelter and cloth okay so he was in comfortable compared to rest of the phases of his life unfortunately he discovers that this lady mrs menwaring was who was an anglo indian woman was known for her loose character and right, she needed men and right, she needed men and whom ever she found somehow she trapped that person for sexual satisfaction so even munu uh, when he recovered from his injuries he started uh, serving uh, mrs menwaring and she was uh she told munu to act as you know lover of hers mrs manwaring treats munu tenderly and occasionally teases him in a suggestive manner she she needed a relationship therefore she started hinting in addition to his domestic duties munu pulls mrs manwaring's rickshaw taking her wherever she wants to go okay this is understood i guess he is fascinated by the goods by the goods in the english shops of shimla okay see that was the uh, situation where indians were told whatever belongs to english was of great importance was valuable therefore even munu was fascinated by things in english shops the strain of pulling the rickshaw leads to munu coughing frequently sometimes with blood now uh, munu was maltreated since childhood okay since his 14 years he started working he did not have good nutrition mental his mental physical health was not up to the mark now when then he is running for something or the other okay so from all the aspects he is deteriorated and when he was given this laborious task again he was not able to to his body was not able to tolerate therefore he started uh you know emitting blood from his mouth and this was the sign of tuberculosis one night munu falls ill with fever and is cared for by mrs manwaring she calls the city's health officer dr manchand who treats him and develops an illicit relationship with mrs manwaring now see what happens munu was also okay 
when he was in relationship with Mrs. Manwaring because he was thinking that at least everything is provided by Mrs. Manwaring and uh, proper care was done by this lady. Okay, but only one thing he could not compromise and that is relationship with anybody that she met and here it was health officer with whom she was in relationship now illicit illegal relationship okay so that munu could not see munu resumes his work pulling both uh, mrs menwaring's and dr merchant grateful for their care during his illness now see he was in very confused state he was not able to hate these two people and he was not able to appreciate as well okay because he started uh, loving mrs manwaring okay but he was not able to hate her for relationship her relationship with dr merchant so he was in dilemma so he let it go he carry he was carrying on with his life munu's health deteriorates but he keeps his condition a secret he doesn't want to tell to anybody because he had no desire to uh, live because of so much turbulence in his life believing he is near the end of his life now see so much he has ex he had experience in his life so he had no expectation from life at all he receives advice from a fellow kuli mohan mohan was uh, his friend okay he was also a rickshaw puller and he advises him that he should take care of his health he sympathizes and writes to ratan in bombay for guidance now see mohan just like ratan had become very uh, you know close to munu munu's health worsens and he coughs up blood in front of mohan who informs mrs menwaring now mohan informs uh, the condition of mohan sorry munu to this lady now we know that tb is contagious disease so doctor advises mrs manwaring not to visit munu he should be left aloof in order to prevent uh, you know contacting this disease so mrs manwaring who was a very good caring lady okay with fruit she had gone to meet munu but this was stopped by doctor now mohan cares for munu but his health continues to decline now no way he was improving in his health munu experiences a brief period to improved health giving him hope tragically munu passes away in the early hours of the night now see these this condition of munu was not better on any day okay slight improvement was seen for a very short period of time but that was just well, that was just an eye wash okay and he passes away one night the chapter portrays munu's final days in shimla highlighting the impact of illness on his life and relationship with mrs manwaring now see uh, we see that munu who was struggling since childhood had experienced very fatal death during his last days it was only mohan who was with him mrs manwaring of course she cared for munu but she could have taken care of munu in a much uh, you know better way which she did not do and finally we see there's no trace of munu in this world and this is the story of many children in india fortunately things are changing now but we need to see around and whatever way it is possible we should help them if we are seeing munu if we are seeing harihar you know you know who was under exploitation if we see child like mohan also then we should be able to take care of them uh, at least monetarily we should provide them uh, some help so this is the requirement of kuli novel uh, that we need to ingrain this is how the story ends i hope uh, everything is clear to you all and you are ready for the examination children if you require this pdf do message me in the comment section we are going to provide it for free to you all thank you so much for being with me